general adult tests, your digestive system. The digestive system breaks down food and drink to release nutrients and energy for body cells. It is centered on the long tube called the alimentary canal. It also includes the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas, which supply digestive chemicals. The distinct parts of the alimentary canal carry out the digestion and absorption of food and drink in several stages. The material remaining at the end of these processes is expelled as feces. Food is broken down typically by the teeth and chemically by an enzyme called amylase in the saliva. The tongue mixes the food and saliva to form a ball called bolus for swallowing. This passes down the gullet, esophagus, to the stomach. Boluses of food are pushed along the digestive tract by wave-like contractions of the muscle walls in the esophagus and intestines. This action is called peristalsis. Food is mixed with strong stomach acids and enzymes and churned by the muscular stomach walls so that it breaks down into a semi-liquid substance called chyme. Food may stay in the stomach for hours before entering the intestine. The small intestine. This long muscular tube has three sections. In the first and second sections, the duodenum and jejunum, food is mixed with further digestive juices to release nutrients. In the third, ileum, the nutrients are absorbed into the blood and lymph. Large intestine or colon, this tube contains bacteria that act on the remains of the food to release further nutrients. The large intestine also absorbs water into the body. The remaining waste is concentrated to form feces, which pass out via the rectum and anus. The intestinal lining is about 345 square feet, or 32 square meters in area, or around eight king-size beds. The digestive processes in the alimentary canal involve physical actions, such as the teeth chopping food into small pieces and the stomach walls churning the food. However, throughout, the body adds chemical agents, mainly enzymes, to digest food into particles small enough to be absorbed into the bloodstream. A key cocktail of these chemicals enters at the duodenum. Bile from the gallbladder is added and it emulsifies fat into tiny droplets. A range of digestive enzymes from the pancreas also enter here, breaking food into absorbable nutrients, sugars, amino acids, and fatty acids. So here we can see the liver uh, that produces bile and passes it to the gallbladder. Then the gallbladder stores and concentrates bile. Then we have the bile duct that delivers bile from the liver and gallbladder to a, the, the duodenum. And food pushes push down the duodenum by a peristalsis. And we have the enzymes in the pancreatic duct. The pancreas produces enzymes. The stomach wall lines itself with mucus to avoid getting digested. Ring of muscle at the top of the stomach will open to allow food to enter. The lining of the small intestine is covered with millions of tiny finger-like structures called villi. These in turn are covered with smaller microvilli. The villi provide a huge surface area to enable nutrients to be absorbed into the blood. Tests may be carried out to assess the digestive system structures or the levels of digestive enzymes and other chemicals. Imaging such as x-rays or viewing with endoscopy can reveal blocked or narrowed areas, tumors, or bleeding in the digestive tract. Certain tests are done to detect ulcers, which are sore areas in the stomach or duodenum lining. Blood tests may be carried out to assess the levels of chemicals produced by the liver or of insulin or digestive enzymes from the pancreas. Thank you so much for listening.